Hey everyone, in today's video we are going to explore the differences between India or Indian ink versus acrylate ink. Now these two bottles of black inks, um, they are from Renaissance, a company from Poland. Nowadays there are so many different types of black ink out there in the market, it can get a bit confusing. But generally speaking, India inks are made with carbon pigments, so the black is incredibly black. Some India inks are waterproof, this one is waterproof, but some are not. So the Winston Newton Liquid Indian Ink, it's not waterproof. Make sure to read the labels carefully. And this liquid Indian ink, it's made with Chinese ink sticks that were grounded and water added to create the ink. I have another bottle of Indian ink also from Winston Newton and this one, it's waterproof. So make sure to read the labels properly. Some India inks have shellac or varnish added. Um, this basically forms a coat, a protective coat over the ink to make it waterproof. So here we see that it's waterproof Chinese ink. And earlier on, we have this Chinese ink from Winston Newton that is not waterproof. You should not use India inks in fountain pens because the pigments may clog your pen. And those with shellac added will definitely clog your pen because um, once your pen is clogged, it can be very difficult to unclog. Acrylic inks are also pigmented, but they are suspended in acrylic binder. The difference between acrylic inks and India inks is acrylic inks, they flow better, they are more fluid, and you can use them in airbrushes, brushes, dip pens, and even markers. Acrylic inks are supposed to be waterproof or water resistant. Here for this bottle, it says that this is water soluble, maybe when it's still in liquid form. And here it says that it's permanent. So if it's permanent, can it still be dissolved with water? Anyway, you should always test your ink before you use it on actual artworks. The only way to find out the true characteristics of the inks is by testing them. And that's what I'm going to do. So let's test the acrylic ink first. This bottle has a tapered opening, so in order to use it with a dip pen or a brush, you would have to get the ink out first. If you want to use the inks with dip pens or brushes, make sure to buy a bottle that has a large opening. Having a bottle with a big opening means you don't have to pour the ink out and it's way more convenient. So I can feel that the ink it flows quite well. The paper that I'm using is the Canson XL watercolor paper and here it seems the ink is able to produce very sharp edges. And always make sure to shake your ink bottle before using the ink. Next up we have India ink. This India ink is sepia in color. India and acrylic inks they can come in different colors. This India ink also feels pretty fluid to me actually. This can produce very sharp edges as well. When drawing, you would probably want to take note of how fast the ink will dry, especially if you are using with other media, such as watercolor. So if the ink dries fast, you can use it quickly. You can use you can apply watercolor straight away after drawing with the ink, but if the ink dries slowly, then you have to wait. And lastly, we have the India or the Chinese ink with shellac. So this bottle has a large opening. It's easy to use it with a dip pen. All right, this ink doesn't seem to flow as well, even though the ink is actually at the tip of the dip pen really. I can feel and see that this ink, it's thicker. It doesn't flow as easily compared to the earlier two inks. So testing your inks, it's really important. And also when pressing down hard with this dip pen, you can see the real rolling. So this ink, it doesn't flow as well. For, ink that, uh, for inks that don't flow that well, you have to draw a bit slower so that the ink 
can catch up as you press down hard. This ink is definitely a bit too thick for me, so I've just added some water to the ink to make it a bit more fluid, to make it flow a bit more easily. So now it seems like it does flow more easily. Always make sure to clean your pen nibs or your brushes quickly after using inks because some of the inks, especially those with shellac, when they dry, they will form a coat. It's very difficult to remove that coat. So I'm going to wash my pen nib and dry it quickly. Let's try painting with the acrylic ink as well. This ink definitely flows quite nicely. The black is quite dark, although when it dries, it dries slightly lighter, just a bit lighter. We'll wait for that to dry. Let's paint with the sepia colored India ink and compare this with the other inks. This flows quite nicely. This color is not as dark compared to the black ink, of course, since this is a colored ink. By the way, Dr. P.H. Martin, they also make colored India inks. And lastly, we have the India ink with shellac, the ink that is very thick. I can definitely feel the thickness of this ink, this India or Chinese ink. This is how it looks when diluted with some water. It's still quite dark. So maybe let me add a bit more water to it. See the hard edge there? See this hard edge here? So this ink, it dries pretty quickly. When you dilute the ink, you can add some shadows with it. These three inks, they dry pretty quickly. When the ink is dry, the ink looks matte to me. Some inks will dry with a sheen. This has very minimal sheen to it. So this is nice. This is the India ink that is sepia in color. This is also matte. And this is the India ink with shellac. You can see the sheen there as I try to reflect the light of the surface and here as well, especially for areas where the ink is really thick, you are probably going to see some sort of sheen to it. And this is a bit sticky. Even though it's dry, it still feels a bit sticky. And now for the waterproof test. So the Renaissance acrylic ink is said to be water soluble and permanent. See how the water is collected into droplets on the ink but elsewhere on the paper, they are collected in a larger pool. So this is definitely waterproof. And this is the Renaissance Indian ink. This is also very waterproof. And lastly, the shellac ink. This is interesting. This ink with shellac, this is not 100% waterproof. It's very water resistant but you can still see some of the ink, it's soluble. At least for the lines, they look waterproof to me. Although again, not 100% waterproof. This is very surprising considering this ink actually has shellac in it. So those are the differences between acrylic ink and India ink. Acrylic ink flows very well, is waterproof when dry. India ink, some are waterproof, some are not waterproof. The surprising ink here is actually this ink with shellac. It's supposed to be waterproof, but somehow it's not 
maybe because I used too much ink and the ink hasn't dried completely. Which illustrates my point that you should always test your inks before using them. This ink is supposed to be waterproof, um, but it's not in this case for some reason. Before you go, I just want to recommend an artist for you to check out. He is Matt Cook. He's an illustrator, war artist, veteran, and runner. That's his website. So he paints with acrylic inks and his work is terrific. He paints with a lot of detail, the way he captures the light and shadow, the colors especially, is just amazing. To see more of his work, just visit the links in the video description below. Alright, thanks for watching this video, see ya!